Keck Labs is a centre across disciplines. It sits in the faculties of engineering and science. And this means we can get the best of, of both worlds. We can use facilities that are supported and maintained and enriched by both faculties. What's key to our mission here in Ket Labs is to facilitate new people, new skills and new hardware for quantum technologies and quantum information science. So Ket Labs is a large and vibrant research centre of around 100 people. We're a very diverse group, ranging from professors, lecturers, all of our academic research leaders, some of our fellows, the postdoctoral researchers, PhD students, as well as a professional services team that support the smooth running of the centre. Bristol is uh, an originator of the field of integrated quantum photonics and it really embodies what the quantum technology ecosystem needs to continue to do. As a research centre at the University of Bristol, we're very well integrated with training and innovation in the quantum technologies space. So that includes the undergraduate training programmes in the, the schools around the university, the MSc in Optoelectronics and Quantum Technologies, the Quantum Engineering Centre for Doctoral Training, and on the innovation side, the Quantum Technologies Innovation Centre. And there are a series of examples already of startup companies that have emerged because of hardware development in Ket Labs that has been supported and trained through the QTech and QTIC programmes. So Ket Labs now exists in an ecosystem of not only other academic institutions that are pursuing quantum technologies, but really large companies that are well funded to develop and commercialize quantum technologies from Silicon Valley to Europe to Cambridge, Oxford and Bristol, which also has a number of quantum technology startup companies. So in this global ecosystem of quantum technology companies, we have to ask ourselves, what can a university research center contribute? And the answer is we have to really engage with the hard challenges that are somewhere between physics and engineering, problems that are too risky to be funded by venture capitalists, but do make sense to be funded by research councils. We need to develop the beautiful ideas and the daring experiments of the young and brightest researchers that come to Bristol. We're still on the B of the bang in the quantum technologies revolution. Like other revolutions, like the industrial revolution, it will be decades or a hundred years long. And it won't just be one innovation. It won't be like there's a quantum computer and that's it. There'll be a series of innovations over decades and, and the century ahead. We have a wide range of opportunities here at Bristol for quantum technologies. These range from training opportunities through to strategic partnerships and collaborations. As well as being involved in our world leading research, people part of the group have wonderful opportunities to get involved in many different types of activities, including things like outreach and engagement opportunities, such as our international summer school, there's also the opportunity to attend internal seminars, as well as being involved in both internal and external collaborations with other groups. You can also attend international conferences. In addition to that, we also have our annual Be Quick conference that we run every year. So overall, Cat Labs is a very vibrant and collaborative research community to be a part of. So if you'd like more information, please get in touch. <laughs>